what capital growth properties have in common. When buying an investment property, we all make decisions on the basis of making money. Property investments offer three unique returns being rental income, tax entitlements, and capital growth. In this podcast, we'll highlight some of the common themes that are seen in properties that receive capital growth. Number one, a good location. One of the most influential contributors to capital growth is location. It can be a word thrown around without truly appreciating the importance of it. Buying property anywhere does not enjoy the same capital growth, however, not one location will outperform the markets either. When choosing a location, there are a number of fundamentals to consider. Some are more important to others, but you need to do your due diligence carefully. During the period of 2021, we saw some outer suburban areas and regional parts of Victoria outperform. This does not mean it will continue in the future, so we must review our data and facts and figures on a regular basis. At Crest Property Investments, we pinpoint many different factors in a scoring sheet. A property must score a 75 out of 100 before we would even present it to a client. The higher the ranking, obviously, the greater the capital growth opportunity. Number two, property choices. Not all property types perform the same. In reference to other residential properties, you generally have a choice of apartments, townhouses, and standalone homes. There are of course some others, but these are the three most common. Each property type presents different characteristics, but you'll find standalone homes and townhouses experiencing more of the capital growth. The land component further discussed in this podcast is a center point to capital growth. A larger home doesn't mean it will necessarily appreciate in value rather to a small one, However, careful decision making is still in order. Number three, understanding the land component. The land to asset ratio is the proportion of the overall property value made up of the land component. To explain this in figures, a property valued at 750,000 with a land value of 450,000, the land to asset ratio would be 60%. The land component is a big contributing factor to achieving capital growth. The larger the land, the more demand it may have, particularly from families and or developers looking to subdivide. Not all areas can be subdivided, so make sure you understand this before buying or selling. Please note, if you're renting an investment property, rent doesn't necessarily increase in line with the land component. This means a five acre property in regional Victoria won't necessarily increase in value by more than a standalone home on a smaller block of land situated perhaps 10 minutes from the Melbourne CBD. Each property must be reviewed case by case. Number four, demand outstripping supply. When demand outstrips supply, this places upward pressures on prices. In other words, increasing the prospect of generating capital growth. If you look in this podcast here, we demonstrate a graph that shows you the recent trends throughout the last two years. Five, development and council activity. Investors can be well benefited from the infrastructure that comes from both property developers and council government activity. As investors, you should be following the trends where governments are spending. With schools, town centres and various amenities in the pipeline, it increased demand and in turn provides a higher chance of capital growth. When developers receive an approval to build a master plan community, you'll often see that a council have agreed to work with the developer to enhance the livability of that area. You may see the new train stations appear, you may also see new freeway entrances or better public transport overall. Be mindful when you follow these trends though. In many cases, you may be paying a premium to buy in a particular area because of the expected changes. You'll need to assess this very carefully. What should we do? There are other contributing factors and common themes seen in what capital growth properties have in common. Before buying a property, we recommend seeking professional property advice. At Crest Property Investments, we specialise in sourcing brand new and off the plan properties for buyers. We also do not charge fees to our buyers. If you'd like to learn more, please feel free to contact us. We welcome the opportunity to help you make the best property decision. If you'd like to go to our website, it is www.crestproperty.net.au. Good luck.